Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, my beautiful, my beautiful, lovely people. Um, so I'm going um, I'm gonna give you all the devotion, but um, this is a get ready with me. <laughs> This is a this is something new. I usually don't do these type of videos but every now and then, you know. I might do something different. I might, you know, I'm just gonna call this a behind the scene video. You know, you seeing me, you know, before I get ready. Um uh, get prepared for church. So because this is not what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna do a little get ready with me and um what I usually do um before I get dressed is like I usually just like stab my braids. So I already, I already got my little pent up style. And so I'm just, you know, y'all, I'm gonna pin this down. Pin these braids down. Because today we got, we got two services today. And so by the end of the service, your girl, your girl, my little edges be all over the places, over the place. And so, don't y'all judge me because what I'm about to do, um, I usually have an edge control brush, but you know, edge control brush, like it been breaking me out for some reason. I don't know. It's either the edge control brush or something. It might be the edge. Yeah, I done had to switch so many edge control gel. Like, I use this one. Um, this one. I've been using this one. I've been using this one, but my forehead was just breaking out. So I stopped using this one. Then I've been using this one. So I've been trying this one out, but the brush on um, something irritate me. So this is what I do, y'all. Don't judge me, okay? Because this is what I do. So what I usually do, because you can't see it right now, but, you know, usually I have gray hair. My gray edge is just sticking out. So all I do is just take the edge gel and I do like this. And I just lick. I just slick my gray down and then this side right here y'all see the gray just be showing up like i'm here i'm here and going nowhere and i tried to rinse my hair but uh the sister at my church she's like don't rinse your hair like you know it's your, your gray you know that's your wisdom don't be having your wisdom and i'm like i just want to rinse it so i had to stop rinsing my hair and then i got this brush i might just slick it down with this brush but this it, y'all. That's all I do. It's all your girl do. And then, you know, I'll be using this to suffer, to suffer a medicated, you know, because my hair be itching a lot. This helps a lot. And I'm just spraying my scalp. I spray my scalp because you be itching real bad. This is it. And then, and sometimes, I don't be liking my braids. You know, they be on my back, be itching my back sometimes. Or if I'm doing something around the house, if I'm cleaning, you know, I do this when I'm cleaning. And I used to do it especially at work when I was testing kids to keep your braids out the way. I just do it like this. I tie it in the bow. I tie it in the bow a couple of times. Like this. That's it. And it's like a protective style for like if you clean around the house or um, you clean around the house. Or if you at work and your hair, or whatever, you got hair, you got twists or whatever, just tie it in the bow to keep it out the way for a minute. And then when I get ready, this is what I'm doing right now. When you're ready for church, I'll take it down. And this is some foam, foam and wrapper lotion. I just take a little and I'll just rub it like this, y'all. That's it. This is all what your girl do. This is all I do, y'all. Sometime at night, I braid it up and then unbraid it. But this is it to keep it like curly and wrinkly. I do this. I'm going to hurry up, y'all, so I can give y'all the morning devotion. Uh, my Sunday school start at 9.45. I like to leave out the house about... I like to leave out the house at least about 8.55. And I'll make it there like Sometimes I make it there like 10 or something because I have to take um, I have to take one bus I have to take one bus, a train, and then another bus yeah so 
but that's it and then i leave this like that and i need my glasses y'all i really can't see the girl really can't see mm. let me put on my uh, my computer glasses these are glasses that i usually wear when i'm doing work on the computer because the blue light so i'm gonna wear these today so that's it that's all your girl gonna do and um i'm gonna show y'all what i'm wearing today it's, it's supposed to be i think 73 so this is what i'm wearing today it's just a two-piece two-piece outfit i'm gonna wear this today that's it. Okay, y'all. So we gonna um we gonna um we gonna get in the morning devotion for today, and I'm gonna say a quick prayer to jumpstart our day, jumpstart our Sunday. You know, Heavenly Father, in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ, Ruler of all things, I honor you. I give you praise and thanks on today. Lord, I pray and ask that you lead and guide me on today. Let touch every heart on today, Lord. This be a blessed Sunday, Lord Jesus. Bless those that's on their way to church, Lord Jesus. Bless those that's traveling the highways and the byways, Lord. Find every hindrance spirit, Lord. I pray that it's something that's said today, you know, blesses them on today, Lord, as they on their way to church or as they coming from church, Lord. And I pray, Lord, if there's anyone that have any sickness in their body, that you touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, that you find sickness in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray, amen, amen. I don't even want to forget to pray. So the morning devotion for today, the morning devotion for today, um, I hope this little thing stays in y'all. I'm going to show y'all something real quick because, um, Sometimes this earpiece, I don't know, it be falling out. So I bought a microphone because my laptop, I bought a microphone because my um, my laptop, is the volume is very low. So I bought a, a microphone and when I plug it in, the microphone, I found out it needs another piece. It needs another piece to go to it. So I think I got one, I'm going to connect it, but... I want to get a microphone because the laptop kind of low and then my earpiece, something, it'll be that loud. So I bought it. So hopefully I'm going to connect it so y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me a little better, you know, try to talk as loud as I can. But the morning devotion for today is titled Stop Running. Stop Running. Stop Running. Stop Running. And um, the scripture that goes with this is Psalms 139, verse 4 through 5. And it reads, O oh Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before and laid your hands upon me. And then the morning devotion read, At times the lessons of life will appear too much for us to handle. The Lord calls us to an, to an impossible task, permits our dreams to be shattered, pinpoint something important in our lives that we need to relinquish or allow such profound loss that it leaves us rolling. At that point, perhaps our instincts, our instinct is to run away from God, resisting his claim on our lives and escaping what he requires us. We just cannot face it all. Our hearts are too weak, our fears too real, our suffering too profound. We don't want to yield to him, to release our will to his. To his. We say, Lord, I know what you want me to do, but I can't. There, ha there has to be a better way. But how do we run from the presence of the infinite God who is everywhere at all times, constantly beckoning us to return to his arms? You cannot, and that's on purpose. Friend, Jesus does not leave you alone because he loves you. He knows this situation is difficult for you, and he wants to help you. So don't be so don't be scared of facing him. There is strength, healing, and hope with him. So stop running, go to him, and live. And there's a prayer that goes with this, and it says, "Jesus, I stop running. Thank you for helping me." Amen. And so, um, when I was reading this, I got my little sticky notes, y'all. But um, when I was reading this, 
the scripture that came to me is Jonah. Jonah. The scripture came to me is Jonah. Is because um, Jonah, and you all you know the story of Jonah. Jonah didn't want to go preach. Um, he didn't want to go preach, I believe it was, for the Ninevites. And so Jonah ran. Jonah ran from his calling. And he ran, and he, I guess he went, was it the ship? I think it was a ship. And they was on this ship. They was on this ship, and they was like, you know, going through stuff on the ship. And so the people, they was like, the ones that was on the ship with him, they was like, wait a minute, what is going on? What is going on? They come to find out that it was Jonah that was the one that was causing the problem while they was on the ship. They was like, wait, you know, what have you done, you know? And so then they threw him over. They threw Jonah over and a big whale, big whale, you know, swallowed Jonah. He ran from his calling. And so um, after, you know, Jonah was in the belly of the whale, y'all know the rest of the story, he was in the belly of the whale. And then finally, you know, um, after Jonah, he repented. He repented to God. Yes, Jonah, he repented to God when he was in the whale of the, uh, he was in the belly of the whale. He repented. And then the whale, he spit Jonah out and Jonah went. He, you know, he, after repenting and surrendering to, um, you know, his calling, you know. And so when I think about this devotion, stop running. Stop running. There's so many of us that we might be running from something. And I just want to encourage you on today that God wants you to stop running. Like, stop running. Whatever it is that you may be going through, he wants you to stop running. Stop running. It's because just like Jonah, Jonah thought that he could run from God. He thought he can hide from God. There's no hiding from God. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Like, you know, what is the scripture? Um, I'm trying to think. It's Ecclesiastic. He says, you, you know, when I lay in my bed, I think it maybe it's, I think it was David. I think it's David. And he said, I think it's David. I think it's in Psalms. He said, you know, you know, um, when I, you know, lay, you there, you're everywhere, God. You are everywhere. No matter where you go, you're everywhere. Wherever you at, you commit your sinful act. God is there. He's there. And he see you. Like I said, you. I see you when you was with this person. You, there is no hiding. So, I just want to encourage, stop, 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 stop. And like you might be running from, just like Jonah, running from a assignment. God, he may have told you and say, you know what, I want you to do this and that. This is what I want you to do. And you saying, no, no, Lord, not me. I can't do it just like Jonah, not me, Lord. I can't talk to them people. I can't minister to them people. I can't witness to them people. Not me, Lord. And he's saying, yes, you. I want you. I want you. And just like me, before I started doing YouTube, before I started doing YouTube, I was a very shy person. I'm still kind of shy. I'm coming out my shyness more and more, <laughs> you know. And so I got to, you know, kind of shy. And God, like, you know, you know, one day I was recording. He was like, go, my go. Like, my family, like, yeah, you, you ready. Like, go. And then God just be more and more, go. Like, there are people out here in this world. Um, they're hurting. They're going through things. You can encourage them. You can encourage them. You can share and give them a blessed word. People need God. They need hope. People need hope. They need hope. They need encouragement. So if you're a child of God, you know, God didn't give us his spirit for us to sit on. He's saying, you know, I need you to go share. I need you to go share the gospel. I need you to go. He said, go out to the highways and the highway. Go share. Share. And so if you're running for your assignment, I want to encourage you. Stop running. Like, stop running. Stop running. And, you know, face your fears. Go to God and say, okay. Like my pastor, he always says, state your unreadiness. Whatever it is, state it. Say, you know what, Lord? Lord, I'm, I need your help. I don't know if I'm ready for this. You telling me, hey, you want me to do this. But, Lord, like Moses, Moses had, he kept saying, I can't speak. He saying, you know, Moses, what is that in your hand? What is that in your hand? And he had a staff in his hand. He said, that's going to do the speaking. Then I'm going to send, um. I'm going to send Aaron with you. Aaron going to help you speak too. Like that was no excuse. Like, you know, no excuse to say I can't do something. 
So whatever it is you're going through on life, you know, if it's an assignment, you know, seek God. Go to God. Say, so, okay, Lord, I know you're calling me to do this. You want me to do that, but Lord, I need your help me. I always tell God, if it's something he called me to do, I said, Lord, I need your help. I can do it, but I need you to help me. I need you to help me. I said, hold my hand. <laughs> Look, walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Like the song said, walk with me while I'm on this teacher's journey. Walk with me. I need you to hold my hand. You're calling me to do this, but I need you to guide me. I need you to hold my hand. Hold my hand and walk with me on this teacher's journey, Lord. Or you may be um, in an abuse relationship. You might be in an abuse relationship and you don't know how to get away. You don't know how to get away. You don't know how to break away from this um, this abusive relationship, this this, um, this man that abusing you. You don't know how. And go to God. Find a place. The time, whatever place you get, if it's in the bathroom, you pray. If it's in the bathroom, you pray and you ask God. Say, Lord, I want out of this. You mean what you, you have to say what you mean and mean what you say. Say, Lord, I want out of this relationship. This person is abusing me. He's hurting me. I want out of this relationship. I want out of this relationship. And I guarantee you, God will make a way for you to escape. He will make a way for you to escape. But when you escape, don't go back. Do not go back. Run. Run to safety. Run to a place of safety and stay there. There's this person, um, this YouTuber I watch, and I don't think she mad me sharing this. I'm not going to say her name, this YouTuber. I enjoy her testimony and how she shared the story, how um, she was in a abusive relationship and how God, you know, she, um, she prayed, you know, she began to pray. And God, she began to pray, and I think you said what happened was, um, the um, person she was with, you know, he was abusing her. And so she called the police. No, that's not what happened. She said she waited till he went to sleep. She said she waited till he went to sleep. And when she went to sleep, she packed up her stuff and her keys stuff and she left. She left. She said she left and she didn't return. And so that's what I want to say to you on today. That if you're running from a, a abusive relationship, you know, you pray God will make a way for escape. You want go, go, go. You need to go to safety, and don't uh, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't get in contact with them. You have to cut them off. Don't answer their phone call because you know that's what they're gonna try. They're gonna try to uh, reach out to you, call your phone. You know, if you remember the movie, I'm just going. I don't know why it just came through the movie Tina Turner when Ike Turner was uh, abusing Tina. And um, he went to her mother. He went to her mother. And he's like, you know, and so I encourage you, you need to go somewhere where you know he's not going to, you know, the person, you know, they can't, um, if they try to go to your, you know, your whoever, you need to pray. Pray and ask God, like, well, where do I go? Where do I run, you know? Where do I go to? How do, you know, I want to run. I want to run away from this relationship, but where do I go? And, you know, pray in God. He will, he will lead you and guide you to to uh, to safety. But don't look back. Don't look back. Don't. And so another thing, when I think of when people, some people they run, they might be running from help. They might be running from help. There are people uh, in this world that they need help and they refuse and help. They refuse and help. You might be going through a depression, whatever it is. And you don't want to tell nobody. You don't want to tell nobody. Christ don't want God, He don't want you to stay down. He don't want you to stay depressed. And so if you don't want to, you know, you feel like you don't want to talk to nobody, sure enough, you know, go to God. Go to God. You say, Lord, help me. It was just, I, you know, one word, help me, God. Help me, God. And, you know, you never know why He might do. He might lead you to an inspirational video, you know, a an inspiration you might leave a song you know it might sometimes if i'm going to something feeling down sometimes god help me turn you know play some music play some music read your bible so there are you know other ways you can get your help if you feel like i can't tell no one i don't want to tell no one this you know go to christ go to god go get on your knees and pray cry out to god say lord help me one word help me god help me 
And so the final last thing I wrote down for some of these people that they run in, especially those who are out here in this world and they have committed murder. They have, you know, they committed murder. And, you know, that's one of the most deadly sins. Like, God hate that, you know, you know, uh, a murderer. And so um, you need to um, turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. You don't just went out and you to murder somebody and kill somebody. Turn yourself in. That's the best thing you can do is turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. You don't want to end up like Judas. Judas um Judas um Judas portrayed Jesus. And I don't know if you all if you saw the movie The Passion of Christ. Uh, when Judas portrayed um Jesus, and in the movie The Passion of Christ, he portrayed Jesus. And then when he portrayed Jesus, sin, you know, like sin had already entered his heart. And then he was um he was tormented. He was tormented. You, in the movie, they show he was tormented and he was running, and he was on his now. Uh, he was running on his um, just like this desert place. This is the movie. This is the movie. I'm not talking about the Passion of Christ. This is the movie, uh, the uh, the Passion of um, the Passion of Christ. And so in the movie, they show he was on like this desert place, and it was like these demons. They were just like tormenting him, you know, just tor tormenting him. Like, you know, and he hung himself. He hung himself because he couldn't live with it. He couldn't live with what he could, um, he couldn't, um, he couldn't live with himself. He couldn't live with himself. And so there are some people out here in this world, they committing, you know, murder or committing a crime. They stealing, you know, they kidnapping. And some of them, they feel like, you know, they got away with it. Some of them, they feel like they got away with it. And God still showing mercy on them, like giving them time, like to repent. You know, I want you to repent for what you did. So repent. He's giving them time to repent, and so enough time to repent is because when they leave this earth, when they leave this earth, and they haven't repented, now it's judgment. It's judgment. Now you're about to be judged. You're about to be judged. You're going to be judged. And so He's like giving you enough time, you know. Um, you're giving them enough time, you know, to repent, like, you know, so you can't get before God and say, like, uh, you know, you need to repent, repent now. So those are just some things, some of the things that um, um, I put down for some reason, or some people, they might be running, but I just want to, um, I just want to um, encourage you on today, like Jonah, stop running, stop, stop running and talk to God. Talk to God. Tell him what you want. What, what, what is it? What is it that you're running from? Whatever it is. And you might, you know, whatever it is that you might be running from. Say, Lord, okay. And he see you. Like he see you. Like the Lord, he see you. And say, Lord, I'm running from this. This is what I'm running from. I need your help. Because I'm tired of running. I've been running, running, running all my life. And I'm tired of running. Lord. I need you to help me. I need you to help me with this. I want to stop running today. Or you may be running from, like you said, uh, um, you're, uh, being saved, you know. You might want to say, you know, I'm not ready to surrender my life to Christ. I'm not ready to give my life to Christ. It's like I stated before, like my pastor said, state your own readiness. State your own readiness. Say, okay, Lord, I know you're calling me. I know you're calling me and you're telling me to change my lifestyle. But Lord, I need your help. I need your help with this. And he will walk you through it. The Lord will walk you through the process. He will walk you through the process. He will let you know, this is what you need to do first. You need to do this. You need to do that. This is what you need to do. Because it ain't going to happen overnight. He, you know, but this is what you need to do. Okay, first you need to do this. You need to take this step. You need to do that. You know, like when I first got saved, I remember the day before I got saved, um, that night, I didn't know at the time I was doing I was going through my transformation and night. I was throwing stuff away that night. That night I was throwing all my worldly stuff away. I was throwing it that night. I was throwing stuff in the garbage. Got up, throwing stuff in the garbage, stuff that my old boyfriend had bought me. I was throwing it away. I was had a garbage bag and I was throwing it away. Whatever it is he bought me, I was just throwing it in the garbage. That next morning, um, I cried after that, I repented. And God came in and he filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost in my bedroom. Yes. So I just want to encourage you on today. That, um, 
on this Sunday to stop running. God, it's time to stop running. It's time to stop running and it's time to sit down and talk to God and tell him all about your problem. <laughs> like the song said, I had a little talk with Jesus and I told him about all my problems. So it's time for you to stop running, sit down, have a little talk with Jesus and tell him about all your problems. So um, that's all I have for now. Um, I pray that you all was blessed. Pray that you all have a blessed, 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 blessed Sunday on today. And so next time, it's your girl, Melissa.